Hi everybody, John Charles with you. Welcome back to my channel. And as promised, I'm going to show you the uh, new age CDs that I got at the Friends of the Library of Hawaii book sale. I also went back today because um, um, this is the last day of the sale just to look around a little bit more. And I did end up picking up a couple more CDs and uh, like several, like a dozen records or something. So anyway, I will show you what I got today and the New Age CDs. Let's do the New Age CDs first. These are for my radio station, Radio Green Goddess, um, that emphasizes what's well, all New Age music and it emphasizes uh, New Age music with nature sounds. You know, that was a big thing in the 90s, right? Uh, so you can check that out. I'll link that below if you enjoy that kind of music and uh, you can mellow out and you know, journey to the astral plane or wait for the harmonic convergence to occur or whatever uh, in the meantime. So let's take a look at the uh, New Age CDs. The North Star Musicians. Uh, yeah, Solitudes, these are always good. Stream of Dreams. I don't know, this was just kind of interesting because it has like different uh, places, different lakes and oceans and whatever, water stories. Nature's creations, heavenly streams, peaceful sounds of watching, wandering waters accompanied by the acoustic harp and heavenly chorus, heavenly chorus, that should be good. I haven't listened to any of these, by the way, I'm saying, so I, I can't really comment on them. Living Desert, Beautiful Music, and the Natural Symphony of the American Southwest. National Park Series, I've been getting a bunch of these have been showing up at various places and on eBay that I've picked up. They're all nice. I have their other one. I think it's the Talesian Orchestra that did another one of Enya's instrumentals, so why not get the other one? Dr. Real. Wellness music, body and soul. Golden door. I think this one was done for, um, like, uh, timeshare. Wyndham International, I think. I don't know. Land of the loon. I have a lot of loons. There's all kind of loon, loony loon ones, but I didn't have Land of the Loon. Solitudes. I want to hear this one. Heavenly Realms. The Tranquil Music of Philip Chapman. This one's interesting. Voice of the Four Winds. Composed and performed through Dick Darnell channeled material as such, I guess. Four Corner Suite. Couple of Nature Quest with Penny Becker. And finally, Eagle Spirit, Medwin Goodall. He's kind of funny, he makes me laugh. Like, I like his music, but it's like he covered every possible New Age uh, sort of idea that was out there. I mean, here's, we're doing sort of like Native American things. He did like ghosts. He did one on, he did like three, I think on medicine women and 
he's done them on like every you know lost continents or whatever it's just like every possible new age theme he's done cds on and it makes me laugh but it's cool and as i said i picked up some more records today there were some things out that weren't out before and it's the last day francis goya on guitar i'll just flip through these There's some things from uh, the Golden LP, the little children's records. I did hear this. I was curious about this record, and I did listen to it on eBay. So, not eBay. What do you call it? YouTube. And, um, yeah, because I was wondering if it had, if it was just straight waltzes or it had any actual Billy Vaughn influence. And some of the songs do have a bit of a Billy Vaughn influence, so I wanted to get that. This is interesting. Oliver Olay, Latin interpretations of uh, the songs from Oliver. <laughs> I think I have volume one and then numerous other records from them, but I'm pretty sure I don't have volume two. I'm interested in the uh, tracks on this one. And this one, the weirdest of all, who knew this even existed? Miko, Miko Monadero, Mondero something. He was like band, the band leader in my mom's hometown, Johnsonburg, Pennsylvania, very small town. He was the high school band leader. He ended up getting fired because he was trying to do too much, too many innovative or weird things with the band and they fired him and he ended up in California and you might remember him from the 80s because he had hits with, uh, he's an, like an arranger, conductor, writer. Had hits with uh, the Cantina Band from Star Wars. And he did like a Miko to Star Wars album and Superman and a Great Wizard of Oz album. Uh, he did something regrettable in the early 80s I remember a single called Ewok Celebration anyway I had no idea this record even existed I was just one of those things when I saw it like what is this so I mean I love American Werewolf in London it's a great movie I don't remember any of the music from it though but here are Miko's impressions of it <laughs> there you go all right, there you are. Just a quick look at my New Age CD haul and my second LP vinyl haul from the Friends of the Library of Hawaii Book and Music Sale, which ended today. So they'll have another one uh, in the summertime, I believe. Hopefully in the same location. Um, they used to be at this high school auditorium that was huge, but um, <coughs> which everybody loved that site and all that, but. Uh, it's hot, it's very, very hot in there. I didn't like, it was huge, but it was very, very hot. I much prefer it where they're doing it now at the empty Pier 1 Imports location because it's, it's air conditioned. And I am at a point in my life where I really appreciate that. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Uh, talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you in the next video.